Well, it's Friday of week two of my little, let's just call it YouTube experiment. I think it's going okay. I think the uh, viewership is starting to trail off, probably because people are sick of seeing my face. I'm not going to do every day, but I am going to sort of keep the similar format, sub 10 minute peroration on uh, just whatever ideas or whatever I'm working on. And also keep it to the sort of more, you know, ideas that have had time to mature so that I can actually speak of them in plain English while I drink my coffee in the morning. I've been thinking about, it's funny because I was, I um, have dug out or, um, you know, started to do some website maintenance using this thing that I call the Swiss Army knife because it's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be like a content Swiss Army knife and it's really just, at this point, it's just like a collection of just operations for effectively generating static websites. But um, the design of it, like the purpose of it is to really kind of nail down like a protocol for trying to make the web more webby, I guess the way that I would say it. Trying to make it so that we can have more smaller pieces of things. So we have fewer copies of things because instead of copying a piece of content, you just point to it. And furthermore, more structure. So we're not just, you know, whereas if you have a document and the document refers to something, and I've talked about this before, the document refers to something, a person, a company, you know, a place, a product, a uh, you know, you know any, any kind of thing that is not just text. You know, this is, a, this is a perennial problem where, you know, these, you know, documents refer to things, but, you know, the, there's, no, there's no way of knowing what the thing is. And it turns out to be really useful is if you can take, for instance, you know, your representation of a thing, like a person, and you say, what are, what are all of the, of the things that, that interact with this person that we know of? And so you're sort of inverting the view. You're, you're uh, rather than taking it from the position of a document, you are taking it from the position, yeah, of the person. Like, are they the author of the document? Or what other documents have they authored? Or are they the subject of it? Or did they just get mentioned? You know, there's all sorts of, there's all sorts of things that you can do with that. Um, that just sort of aren't, I mean, and part of that has to do with the fact that, that I would say the authoring capability just blows. Um, you know, the capability of actually writing sort of rich metadata into documents is, not there. And I mean, when you think about where, where the direction is going, you know, we're still doing WYSIWYG, you know, or we're doing like Markdown and neither of those has what you need. And then again, you know, there's stuff like Rome, which will put, you know, under your fingers, like, you know, reference to stuff, but I'm pretty sure Rome still doesn't type you know, the references are not typed. So, you know, you've got a reference to a thing and it's just a, a Roam page. Like, all right. So, yeah, I mean, types are important. Link types are important. And, you know, that's basically what RDF is. That is, that is exactly what RDF is. And anything else is a reinvented wheel, as far as I'm concerned. And... You know, I've done a lot of experiments with, with resource typing and link typing. So when, uh, you know, because when you've got, like, this is like basic shit, right? When you've got a web page and you say you link to something, let's say you link to a website that is on some other 
domain, somebody else's website. Well, you know, there's it's customary a lot of the time, and I do this, uh, you know, and a lot of people do this, is to change the CSS so there's a little glyph or something like that with a little arrow pointing up. You know, that's all you have. In the in the, the thing is, you can do that in CSS just by you know you just you just look for the href, you know, HTTP. Make sure that it starts with HTTP. That's like very basic. You know, you don't even you don't even have to add classes or anything like that. that like that's in the data. You know, just as a byproduct of just being part of you know, it's just what you have to do to make HTML. So there's that. Um, but you know, you think about take that principle. And um, you say, okay, well, I'm going to style based on link types. Like if something is an author, for example, um, or you know, or the this is a reference to another thing. Like you could say, you know, you could make the or this is for a footnote or something like that. And you can say, okay, well, the link type is X Y Z, and you know, we're going to make these green. Or, uh, and something that I also do is, is, is say, okay, the bo uh, the uh, document or the resource, you know, is a particular type. So we're going to change the styling based on what kind of thing it is. And, you know, or we're going to change the background color. Or we're going to change, and I mean, this is just, just CSS. Like, this is just visual styling of, of, of the representation. But... You know, when the data is there, you can do anything. So you can make it behave differently. You can... So I guess what I'm saying is, is like, you know, this translates to user experience, obviously. If you have data semantics, if you know what it is, you can make it do different things. And, you know, I think that's a, it's a very effective way to, you know, insert more information into the information environment when, you know, you can say... When have somebody look at you know a, a, a web page and know, you know like what kind of thing is behind the link, just as a for instance, or they know that because the border is you know red, they know that they're looking at a draft, or because you know like these these kinds of things is it's infinite the amount of stuff that you can do. The funny thing is, is these are all very very little things, you know. If you had to go and make like a, a, you know, a ticket or you had to go and discuss it in a meeting or whatever, like the amount of sort of organizational overhead required to handle that, you know, you just would not make it worth it. And it's kind of one of those things that you kind of just have to almost do unilaterally. And, and in order to do that, it has to be cheaper, you know, basically too cheap to meter, you know, because like... You know, you got to be done before the boss comes in and says, what are you working on? And you say, oh, I did this. You know, and the boss says, oh, wow, that's great. You know, and it sticks as opposed to like asking, having to ask permission to, you know, spend resources on something. You just do it. And so I think a lot of the benefits of a lot of these kinds of, uh, at least the, 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 the semantic web tech that I've been, you know, exploring, just doing it like the most mundane stuff is to really kind of make these experiences incredibly cheap to try out because the content is especially when you you get up there in the quantity of content like you just can't prototype it because there's so damn much of it and it's gonna be different if the content is different. And so like you gotta have the real content or you you just won't know, like you can't imagine what it's gonna be like. At least that's sort of my experience. Like you just won't, you know, like you can't tell, you know, from a, from a, a whiteboard or a, you know, pro, like a fake prototype, like what it's gonna be like you've got to use the real content. And then in that case, it's like, well, you might as well have the real whole thing. And then you can try, you know, these, these interventions are going to behave like, but, um, yeah. So I guess, I don't know. Like, I think the whole sort of like do the, do the prototype first kind of thing kind of almost breaks down in a way. And it's like, 
you know, the, uh, the content itself needs to be arranged in such a way that it is cheap to mess with. Cheap and low risk. But anyway, I am going to finish my coffee. Have a good weekend.